YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys and welcome to Is That Your Hair? If you're new here, consider tapping that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you've been rocked with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesday is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute yet super affordable units for the lovely $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. Today I'm featuring a fairly new unit by Outre and this is from their Everywhere collection. When this collection first came out, I wasn't with it. Similar to Outre's wig pop collection, haven't been interested, so I felt the same way about this one until they came out with Every Six. I reviewed that unit and it's a textured unit, so of course that piqued my interest. And since then, they've been delivering some textured units for a super affordable price point. I'm like, okay. So I saw like Every 11, 13, 15, a few of those, and I was like, let me snatch those up. Well, you will see my reviews on some of the later ones as well. Today I'm focusing on Every 11 and I have her in two colors. I got the natural color and this champagne blonde color so I cannot wait to show that to you all. Today I'm going to do more of a talk through and just kind of explain how I'm going to make this wig look natural. And if you like what you see, make sure you like the video and share this with a friend. Sharing is caring, y'all. Don't keep all this good information to yourself. And if you're interested in more wig tutorials and tips, definitely check out my wig 101 playlist. It'll be linked in the description box. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Ooh, before we start, girl, your girl got some fresh braids. You wanna see how I do my braids underneath? I didn't do this myself. I went and got my hair washed and braided. This is pretty much what my foundation looks like. I think that is the most important thing when it comes to making your wigs look natural. Like make sure your foundation is on flat because otherwise you have to deal with lumps and bumps and yeah, we don't, we don't wanna do that. So I'm very happy that I was able to take care of that yesterday. And now we are ready to begin. This is her. She is a cute textured bob style, definitely giving me very yakky vibes. Kind of like if you had maybe kinky straight hair that was pressed out and you use a flat iron on it, you know, all throughout the wig. This is what it's reminding me of right now. I like the bounce, I'm loving the luster. This is not giving synthetic shine. This is looking, this is looking like healthy hair. We have these two combs here on the front, comb in the back and adjustable straps. Now I did notice that the price point on this on these later wigs a little bit higher. This one is like 28, I believe, versus when they first came out, they were like $19. So I don't know if it's because they've become more popular or maybe they're putting in a little bit more effort or maybe it's because they know that the natural textures sell. I don't know, but this is what we got here, okay? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna shift this. This is a right part wig, and this is what we got going on straight out the pack. Now, I know some of y'all like to wear your wig straight out the pack and walk out the door, but honey, we're not doing that over here. We're gonna do a few things to make this look a little bit more natural, but already, I'm here for this bob style. Are y'all here for it? Let me know in the comments. I am normally not an asymmetrical kind of girl. This one's a little bit asymmetrical. Y'all can see that, right? I would snip it, but I'll probably do that towards the end. Normally, I flatten down the parting area with heat, but I don't even feel the need to do that. Oh wait, hold on, wait a minute. Are those filler hairs? I feel, oh, they have filler hairs in here, y'all. Outre, why did y'all put filler hairs in here? What was what was the purpose of that? Like, maybe I guess they were trying to, like, have some lift. It's not a whole lot, but I, I could do without the filler hairs in 2021, honestly. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have this gray ashy tone and we want to get rid of that. I do have a widow's peak and it's trying to peek through. It's not as visible because I just got my hair braided, but it's still there. So here's what I normally like to do as far as addressing the ashy lace. And I'm gonna show you two different things I do when it comes to lace fronts like this wig here. One method is to use this eyebrow pencil here. This is a Ruby Kisses pencil. It's an old pencil. I have it in the color black brown. And I'm just going to use this and start coloring in the lace. So you see here, I'm literally just coloring it in. I've used Sharpies in the past. I've used 
black eyeliner. I prefer to use something that has a bit more brown because I feel like it's not so harsh. I feel like black brown or the shade darkest brown, depending on what pencil you're using, would suffice. And you see how this is making that white cast disappear, okay? Now be clear, this is not a wig where we're trying to serve hairline like Outre Melted Hairline series. This is not that, but at least, you know, if the wind blows, you're not gonna see gray ashy lace doing this method. So I'm gonna do it over here as well. This thing needs to focus. And again, you don't have to use an eyebrow pencil. Look, I have black eyeliner here. I can use this black eyeliner, right? And color in the lace. Like, the world is your oyster, sis. I'm telling you, you can do what you want as long as it works for you and works for your wig. Okay, so now you see the difference here. That's what it looks like afterwards. Now on this side, I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I use my foundation, okay? I'm not going to color this in with a pencil. I'm gonna use my foundation. So this calls for, am I gonna use the comb? I'm gonna use the comb just for the sake of this right now. All right, so this is gray. The foundation that I love to use, that I swear by, is this liquid foundation. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Matte foundation in the color D90. This is what I use when I'm trying to blend lace, when I'm trying to change the color of the lace. I also use lace tint, but I'm talking about specifically for lace fronts where I'm not like trying to tint an entire area of lace. If I'm just trying to touch up the sides or something like that, I like to use foundation. And the reason why I use this is because the liquid will penetrate the lace. If you try to use something like this, like Black Radiance Pressed Powder or any pressed powder that is your skin tone, it's still going to look chalky. It's not going to penetrate the lace the same way this foundation does. So that's why I opt for this when I'm changing the lace color. And I advise y'all to do the same. Trust me on that. Oh, where is my angled brush? Okay, normally... Hold on y'all, let me go get my angled brush. All right, I found my angled brush. This is only a dollar on Amazon, so go grab it. So I'm applying the foundation on the angled brush, just a droplet, and then I come up here, make sure this is in focus. And I'm doing this in natural lighting because I really want y'all to see how it would look, you know, if you go outside. Okay, you see that? You see how the the ashiness starts to disappear. Look at that. It disappears. And apparently this is supposed to be HD transparent lace on these lace fronts now. It's supposed to be a thinner lace. And from what I could tell, it's actually looking pretty good. Let me put some, a little bit more, just a tad bit more. You don't need a lot, y'all. Don't OD. Take your time and fill it in and you'll see you see how that foundation is taking that ashiness away. I'm telling you, if you use powder, you're not going to get the same effect, y'all. Please listen to what I'm saying. I will not steer you wrong with this. So yeah, that's what you can do. I showed you two ways. You can use some type of eyebrow pencil or liner to just fill in the lace, you know, a dark brown or darkest brown or a black brown preferably. Or you can use your foundation color, a liquid foundation color, and fill in the lace that way and it'll blend well. Normally I end up doing the eyeliner method because I have my widow's peak here and it just makes sense because I don't always like putting makeup over my widow's peak. I've done it, but I don't really like to do it. And on this side, since there's no hair poking out, I figured this would be a good way to show y'all how I do it with the foundation. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you, if you understand what I'm saying, this might lift a little bit. If you wanted, you could always apply a little Gatsby glue there and tack it down. But that's, that's, up, that's up to you, that's preference. So now the last thing that I wanna do here is just fix this parting space area because this is gray. And I'm gonna use my handy dandy Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 360. I also use um, the color 355 sometimes, which is coconut, sometimes towards the middle. Depends on how I'm feeling. And I'm telling you, I'm taking my same handy dandy angled brush and I'm just coloring it in.
Again, we're in natural lighting. So this is how it would look outside. I think it looks pretty good. Now, this lace is actually laying very flat on my head. And I think it's just the cap size. To me, this feels like a medium cap size. If you have a larger head, like 23 and above, this might be a little bit snug on you. So what I also do is I will use this got to be glue in the black bottle specifically. I like the clear gel for this part. And I'll take my rat tail comb and I'll put just a little bit of got to be glue on the rat tail comb. And I will, you know, apply just a little bit of got to be glue underneath and press it down. I don't think it's totally necessary with this wig, but with other wigs that where the lace will roll back, this is what I would do and then just let it dry. Sometimes I even put a little bit on top and I'll let it dry naturally or I'll use my blow dryer. Ooh, this blow dryer gets so hot. I love this little thing. My favorite part about this blow dryer is that it folds. <laughs> so if you're interested, it'll be linked in my description box. It's the perfect size for travel and it's just good for what I need it to do when I wanna flatten down the top of my wigs. So yes, y'all, this is what we have going on here. I actually wanna snip some of this off. I don't really want this right now. So I'm gonna just take these scissors and snip a little bit here. Snip a little bit here. Oh my goodness, already that looks so much better to me. Okay, this is a look for under $30. This reminds me of my hair when I used to get it relaxed. This is exactly the density of my hair. My hair is not super thick when it's straightened, so I think this mimics it very well. Even though we don't have like, you know, a pre-plucked hairline or anything like that, I think this is still very easy and beginner friendly. I hope that the steps that I showed you broke it down in a way that you understand. Definitely comment down below and let me know if this was easy to follow. Honey, go ahead and get this wig. The texture is perfect, it's beginner friendly, and I just cannot stop looking at myself. Yes, hello! When I tried on this wig, she was like, oh, we going somewhere tonight? We going out on a date? I was like, see, I'm supposed to be quarantining. <laughs> oh yeah, but this bob is definitely supernatural. And do you like the fact that I snipped off the ends? Let me know what you think about that, cause I do. And also some of you have asked about, oh, what are wigs that you would wear without makeup? A bob like this, I would wear with little to no makeup. I just feel like, is that type of vibe. You can dress it up or dress it down, it's up to you. You know, this unit low key reminds me of an older unit by Free Dress Equal, Hania. I reviewed her, I think last year, earlier last year, and she looks almost the same, except I think Hania had more of a flip action going on in the front. She's another affordable bob that you should definitely check out. But yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm here for this. Definitely. All right, y'all, so I am back with the DRFF4 champagne color. I did the same exact thing with the application. I definitely added a little bit of got to be glue right here. More so where this lace is because it was lifting up and you can do the same thing. Like if you see this over here lifting up, you can definitely add the got to be glue and use your blow dryer to make it here. And on this side, I filled it in with the pencil. I'm noticing a difference with this blonde unit. One, the texture is slightly coarser than the number two color. That may be due to the whatever processing this unit went through in order to become blonde, but I, I noticed a difference because even with this, like, it's not as flowy as the number two color. And I can just feel it. I can feel the coarseness. I can feel, I can see some of the crinkles. I don't know if y'all can see it like right there. So for sure, this texture is slightly different. And there's more of a oomph right here in the front, in the bang area, which I like. I'm here for that. I actually wish the number two color came with more of this va-va-voom right here. But it's cool. Both units are still very pretty and I recommend them, especially for the price point and especially for my beginner wig wearers. This unit is for y'all. If you have been apprehensive about trying a wig, trying a lace front wig, get something like this. You don't have to worry about laying an entire frontal, worrying about whether your lace looks good from ear to ear. 
just focus on this area right over here make sure your parting space is looking close to your scalp color also speaking of that I use the lighter Maybelline fit me powder the 355 coconut and I feel like it's looking a little bit more scalp like here what do y'all think that's what I'm seeing right now. If for some reason you make your parting space too wide, either with plucking or with the powder, you can always go in with your eyebrow pencil and just go like, make like little strokes like this in order to kind of fill it back in. Don't think too much about it. Just do it really quick, fast, and wispy. And that'll make the parting space look more natural in the event that you plucked out too much or put too much powder. I think this color is very pretty. Like it's not just a straight 613. I see 613, 27, whatever the next step under 27 is. <laughs> 23 I don't know I see all those colors mixed in and Outre is really good for that they're really good for their color blends I am more particular about my rooting these days I don't think the rooting looks terrible especially because it blends out nicely but I prefer a softer brown when it comes to these platinum blondes that's just me I like a softer brown so that this was more like a sandy brown color I think I would like it a little bit more for me so yes y'all this is Outre's every 11 unit comment down below talk to me because I love to talk back to y'all let me know if this is something that you would grab all links are in the description box you can shop through my amazon links or you can google it and find it cheaper it's up to you at the end of the day i definitely recommend this unit and if you're new here you made this far you may as well subscribe and tap that notification bell while you're at it so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos as i'm looking at myself 20 out tuesday is on and popping these units look so damn natural and you don't have to do a lot of work i put this one on like within five minutes even for my newbies out there, I'm sure within 10 minutes you can get this looking really nice. Let me know if you try this out. And if you do, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Is that your hair with three R's? Send me some pictures. I like when y'all send me photos of wigs that I've recommended to y'all. It makes me feel good. So if you decide to buy this wig, let me know. Keep in touch. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for joining me today for $20 Tuesday. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.